Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. Happy Friday. I uh, hope everyone's having a great start to your weekend and I uh, hope this video finds everyone doing well. Uh, guys, I wanted to come back in on this kit here. Uh, I know I had this on my, uh, I had this on my last video just as a stash ad, but I want to come back and uh, visit it just a little bit deeper, uh, mainly for what it is, uh, being that it's the four-door sedan. Uh, again, from the uh, TV show Supernatural, uh, join the hunt there it says. Uh, and I just want to go over this. Uh, I know there's probably been other uh, videos on this, uh, reviews or whatever, uh, maybe even final builds or whatever, but just kind of take a look at it, give you my take, give you some of my thoughts on uh, some of the parts. I did a quick uh, quick overview of this uh, just in the house there and kind of looked through it, uh, but I want to go over it with you guys and uh, just uh, see what we come up with on this thing together here. Uh, so we're just going to take a walk around the box here first. Again, uh, new bo uh, box art, obviously new for the show, uh, and then we'll just kind of look here uh says featuring uh, opening hood with detailed big block engine that's cool uh spotlights and bumper guards all new four-door body and interior door panels so brand new tooling on the body and the interior door panels there uh, and custom wheels comes with so sure again a lot of options you could do with this a lot of different things you could do aftermarket parts and whatnot uh, again just the same uh, box on the side is on the top and then uh and then see just gives a little Little thing about the characters. Like I said, I've never seen this show. Uh, my wife and daughter, uh, they they really like this show. And uh, my daughter liked this car. And uh, so really, uh, I've got two of these. Actually, the one that I had in my video the other night, it's still sealed. This is the one that I had bought previously. Uh, and this one I tend to build for my daughter at some point. I'm hoping to get to it this year. But uh, I've thrown a lot of stuff on my plate upon myself so far. So... Uh, uh, we'll see how this goes out, but I would like to see this one done this year sometime. Uh, but we're going to just play that by ear, too, because uh, uh, sometimes I'm not the fastest builder uh, when it comes down to it. But anyways, uh, we're just going to go ahead. I'm going to, there I am going again, guys. I'm bumping my gums and not getting to the point. So uh, we're just going to open this guy up again by AMT. Uh, a lot of this stuff, I'm sure, is old tooling and stuff, uh, but the body in the interior is new. So let's just take a look at this body here real quick. Get this, all this good stuff out of there. So let's just take a look at this here. Um, that's not going to be a distraction to see this. Uh, but yeah, you can... Uh, uh, nice lines. This doesn't seem to be uh, an excessive amount of flash on this. Maybe some... Uh, Couple little blemishes down here, maybe. Could have been a little bit of dirt in the mold, maybe, or something, but uh, not too bad. Looks pretty good. Like I said, not a lot of uh, uh, the uh, there's okay, right here. You see, right here, we got some uh, parting lines right there, so that obviously needs addressed kind of in the uh, kind of in the common spot where they normally are, but uh, there's nothing to take care of, so. That looks pretty good, and there are four doors, uh, and it was, which is kind of cool with this because you could actually do one of these as like a taxi cab or, or whatever. That's one thought that I had, uh, or just do it like a regular, uh, regular plain Jane off the, off the showroom floor in Palo. So nice body there, guys. Looks good, and then, of course you got the frame, which this is. Uh, now I've actually got the '67 Impala two door in the stash too, and this is pretty much all the same thing here kind of nice here because your carpet is basically molded right on this pan here as your gas pedals they're already mounted down there or molded in and of course separate frame this is so cool i like that idea of the separate frame now you could do a lot of stuff with this maybe you have a neat diorama with this like you could have this this frame all built and just sitting there uh like it's being restored or whatever or just a frame sitting out in the Setting out in the dirt and weeds by itself, you know, so that's cool. Looks pretty good. Now, I have gone in here and I've opened these bags up uh, so I don't have to take all the extra time cutting the bags open on camera here. Uh, so we'll look at the chrome tree. There's a nice back bumper. Chrome's nice and looks like it's even, uh, nice and bright. And got some mirrors there, door mirrors. 
Uh, looks like the console won't speculate on this, not 100% sure. And then the separate wiper arms, that's really cool. There's your uh, rear view mirror. So that's a nice tree. And then this tree here, you got your grill. Grill front bumper. Looks like, uh, I don't know, I would have to say maybe. Let's we'll see. Not sure again. I guess, oh, spotlights. Those are spotlights right there. These here. So, looks pretty good there. Uh, that nice set of custom wheels. And again, you know, a lot of options. You you don't have to use the kit wheels. We dig in and find something else. But I think this is probably what was on the show. So, for this kit that I build will be uh, those custom wheels, probably, uh, to be just like the show. And I'm going to have to go through and dig up some uh, some pictures. Come back to the glass later. Some pictures to see what that car actually looked like on the show to kind of get it accurate. So we'll take a look at these. Okay, there's your hood. A lot of... Uh, now, these aren't scratches there. They're just like, like swirls in the plastic. So that should all be covered up with primer and paint. I mean, I mean it should cover fine. Uh, there's your front bench seat. It's kind of cool to have a bench seat. Of course, most four doors did. And then I think there's another part of the interior there. Nice back seat. Nice. I like the pattern they got on there. And then uh, suspension parts. Your uh, control arms there. Springs. Some more control arms. Your sway bar there, it looks like. And you know, your center link tie rod ends and everything there looks good and then here's those cool uh four door interior door panels so nice very nice i like this uh i like this here these uh well very well pronounced uh door handles there and then very very nice the nicely raised uh armrest there and then your your cranks and everything are all, all very prominent so i like that really really cool wheel retainers and this i guys i thought this was so neat right here look at this this car is basically a three speed on the column equipped car uh, because as we'll see we'll look at the dash here in a minute i believe it's got a brake and clutch pedal so that is really really cool i like that there's that set of parts, and then this big bag of parts. Get these out. And then here's your, where's your differential? The cover there, your drive shaft. Exhaust pipes, mufflers. I'll keep these in the same bags they come out of. Uh, wheel backs there. It's nice, it's got your, uh, it's got your nice patterns there. Look at that. Very, very well molded. Detailed. And then here's some more. Uh, your springs. And then the big block valve covers there. Check them out. Steering wheel. Nice, nice air cleaner. It gives you heater hoses. There's your intake manifold. Um, again, I'm not going to speculate because I don't know. Didn't look at the instructions. Shocks there. And then actually your spindles over on this side here. Front spindles. And then here's your rear exhaust. Looks like some, maybe possibly some resonators there. So that's neat. And then this last tree of parts. There's that big block engine transmission. There's the heads. Look at that. I got the, uh rocker arms so if you wanted actually to uh display this with like the valve covers off like they're doing work on it or whatever it's really cool you can really detail those up really neat uh up under the valve covers there and there's your manifolds oil pan with your oil filter right in on it your uh, belt pulley system there and then uh there there's your dash check it there's your clutch and your brake pedal so really cool three speed on the column so neat Back in the day, man. So basically, today that would be an anti-theft, natural built-in anti-theft device. 
Not many people probably know these days, at least the younger generation probably, how those operate. And then here's your firewall with your heater box, radiator shroud, fan, alternator and bracket. Looks like your, I want to say that's the battery. Yep, starter, water pump, front cover. Yeah, it looks like your radiator hose is there. And check this out, guys. Look at this. Uh, this pad right here. At one time, it said E R or E T R L Ertl. Is back when this was still uh, under the Ertl name. Pretty cool. So they just smudged out that mold, and they just they just repopped the same parts. So pretty cool, pretty cool stuff there. And uh, now we'll take a quick look at the decals. And then there's your decals. Now, I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to have to go back and get pictures of the car from the show. I don't know if this was actually on it somewhere. Uh, but I may put that on there, too. Make it more accurate to the show. Uh, and then, look, awesome. Awesome. I love they're doing that. Like I said before, uh, get your decal gauges there. And then uh, get some Ohio plates. And then some Kansas plates, it looks like. And then uh, just some more emblems, side marker lights. So neat. And it looks like an engine sticker there. So those are really cool. Nice decals. Uh, and then I saved, as far as the parts go, I saved this. I saved these for the last. This windshield. Because there's something specific I want to talk about on this here real fast. Uh, nice, clear. Uh, very Clarity's great on these. Uh, the glass looks good, and look at this. They even give you, they even give you a uh, the uh, gauge lens for the dash. So neat. So you don't have to worry about Mod Podge or clear glue or whatever over the decals. Uh, but the one thing I'd say now, I built the Monte Carlo, the 1970 Monte Carlo. And it's basically the windshield configured exactly like this, and the '68 El Camino. Uh, at least when I built mine on both of those vehicles uh as as i was mocking it up as i was going uh, everything was fitting up nice everything's set nice and level but as soon as i put this windshield in that front end got raked up and it was having a hard time so it looked like the front end was ways raised way up on it so i think this is actually too thick because this is some pretty stout this is some pretty stout plastic on this windshield uh so i'm gonna see when i do this one if there's a way i can very carefully obviously because these like, if you start monkeying with them, like the spider crack on you. Uh, but if I can just trim this off and relieve this thickness uh, from between the cowl and the interior, the dash there, uh, and maybe that will let that drop down all the way and, and set out level. So that's what I'm going to try. But that would be probably my biggest beef with these type of kits would be this front windshield because of that lip right there. So I'm going to see when I do this one, if I can uh, alter that just a little bit very, very carefully and uh, see if I can eliminate that problem. I don't know if you guys have built this kit or or one of those others, the Monte Carlo or the El Camino. Uh, if you have, let me know in the comments uh, what you found, if you found the same issue uh, and if you remedied that, that problem. Uh, so as like I said, that would be my biggest beef I have with these type kits as I fight with to get this thing back in this bag beats all I ever saw check it out so but anyway that's that uh, we'll just give a real fast look at the instructions and we should be about done here so there's just the same box art there on the on the front instruction sheet and then uh, okay there's the step one starts with the engine obviously pretty pretty standard AMT instructions uh, laid out very well. Uh, again, they got the color codes for you if you want to go by that. Uh, and then it starts with your chat, just some chassis assembly, rear chassis assembly there, suspension and all, and then setting your floor pan on the frame. And then there it shows you your your uh, decals there for the for the uh, instrument cluster. So that's cool. And then the back. Back sheet here, then your interior assembly. And just some of your finals. And then finally your back page here. And then these are your body continued. 
exhaust there. Wheel tire assembly. And then, uh, okay, that one piece on the chrome that I didn't know, that's the, uh, the front hood front hood molding there. So that's what that was. And there's that cat from AMT. And then it shows, uh, shows you how to put your spotlights together. If you're going to use them, which they would have been on the show, I believe. And then, of course, your colors. Your colors, colors code there and everything. So, uh, so that's it, guys. Uh, I think it's going to be a really, really nice kit to build. Like I said, other than having a monkey with that, uh, with that windshield, uh, the way it is. But like I said, there's, there's always ways around that. Oh, and here's the tires. Looks like they give you two different sizes. Yeah, it looks like this one's just, I didn't bother taking these out of the bags. Uh, look a little bit thinner here and a little bit shorter and then a little bit bigger for the back there. So, a nice bag tires there, so it's nice. They won't, and everything's bagged, so you don't get that tires melt in your plastic stuff like years ago. Uh, so, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna clean this up a little bit, and uh, I'll be right back, and we'll get out of here. All right, so there we go, fellers and gals. If there's any gals watching, uh, the 1967 uh, Chevy Impala Sport Sedan four door hardtop there. Uh, sport sedan, I guess, considered a hard top, I suppose, but they call it a sport sedan, so that's what we'll stick with. Uh, but anyway, uh, just a nice, nice kit. Looks like it's going to be really nice. Very clean molds. Like I said, very, very little flash and parting lines to clean up on it. So I think it's going to be a fun build. Like I said, this one will be done like the car on the box there, like the show. And, uh, then my other one, I'm just going to do either just like as a, an average everyday, uh, plain Jane, uh, Impala. And uh, it'd be kind of cool, actually, to build one, get a hold of an old six-cylinder and throw in one of these, too. That would be kind of cool. How much better could it get, guys, for old school with a 256 cylinder and a three-speed on the tree? Uh, hmm, that might be that might be breeding something there. I don't know. We'll have to see how that goes. Anyway, guys, uh, that's all I got. I just want to do a quick open box on this thing and uh, go through it, uh, give you my thoughts. So that's my thoughts on it. So uh, that's all I got for today. Uh, if you guys like the video... Uh, go ahead and give me a like, uh, share, subscribe, comment, love reading the comments guys. And, uh, so with that, I guess I don't have anything else to say as far as that goes. So with that, I'm just going to say there's Eric from Eric's model garage. You guys have a great day. God bless you and happy modeling.